Good morning and welcome to episode nine and the final episode of Mustang's First Pitch presented by Joseph Contracting. I'm Calvin Silvers. Since our last episode, the St. Joseph Mustangs were on a three game homestand getting it started against the Kansas City Monarchs last Thursday. The night before, the Mustangs fell 10 to nine to Carroll and the team would suffer their second straight loss dropping their final non-league game with a 6-3 loss to the Monarchs. The second home game of last week was against the Chillicothe Mudcats, where the Mustangs enjoyed an outburst of offense Friday evening, swinging their way to a 16-4 beatdown in seven innings. The Mustangs set a season high in runs. St. Joseph remained at home Saturday, finishing a one-sided season series with Des Moines with a 10-4 win before a team record 6,013 fans. The Mustangs improved to 6-1 against the peak prospects this summer. On Sunday, the team hit the road for a two-game road trip. The Mustangs picked up their third consecutive win in Sedalia, defeating the Bombers 8-4. Right-hander Camden Lutz made his first start of the summer, and it was a good one. Though he had not thrown more than five innings in a game this season, Lutz pitched a complete game with five hits allowed. And then on Monday, the road trip ended in Clarinda, Iowa, as the Mustangs were trying to push their North Division lead more. However, St. Joe dropped their series opener with a 10-2 loss to the A's. That loss still kept them atop of the North Division, though, by two games. Well, over the course of the season, we've seen lots of dogs, dancing, t-shirt tosses, as well as some memorable pregame ceremonies before each contest. We've also seen a lot of great plays at Phil Welch, so much so we decided to put together the best plays we captured this season. So let's take a look at the top seven plays we've captured on camera and full disclosure. This may be Mustang's first pitch, but even some Mustang's opponents have made some great plays, so it wouldn't be fair to leave them off the list. Starting with a play from June 10th against Sedalia, Mason Holton comes racing in from third to make the snag and gets the throw to first in time for the out. Let's take another look at that one. Holton has been one of the top pitchers for the Mustang, but he's not a one-trick pony, that's for sure. We now go to June 7th. This grounder is off the pitcher's mound and up comes Cole Slobowski to make the play. Take another look. Slobowski able to react quickly, quicker than I could, and whip it to first for the out. And now let's go to July 5th. We said there would be plays from other teams and this one is one of them. Thorinda A's infielder catches the line drive and makes the throw to first for the double play. Here's the replay. Thorinda would win big in that game. Let's go to May 31st. It didn't start out great, this play didn't, but it turned out okay. Ball gets away from the pitcher, but Oscar Pegg is able to get it to Ty Hilzebeck at the plate for the out. Take another look, great play by the pitcher and catcher right there. What a tag. All right, next play comes from Braden Lucar on July 6th. This one it took some sprinting to track down. Oh my goodness, but Lucar is there to make the catch near the wall. Here's the replay. Lucar was Probably glad he had those sunglasses on as he tracked that down while fighting the sun. Well, and Luke Hark wasn't done on 4th of July night. He puts his body on the line for this fly ball to get the out. Luke Hart shows why he's headed to Wichita State next season. Those jerseys are, are also very, very nice. And for our best play, it comes from the Mustangs alumni game versus U.S. Military War Dogs. What a play by the right fielder. Woo! formerly of the Mustangs. He may not have played for St. Joseph in over 10 years, but he certainly still has it. And those are your best plays captured during the 2023 season. And let's take a look at this upcoming schedule for the Mustangs starting tonight through Sunday. The Mustangs are on the road as they'll be in Chillicothe taking on the Mudcats who find themselves third in the North Division. Then on Friday, St. Joe will begin a two-game homestand starting with the Chillicothe Mudcats. Then on Saturday, the Carroll Merchants are in town. They find themselves in the fourth spot in the North Division. Then on Sunday, the team will travel for its last time in the regular season as they travel to Joplin to take on the Outlaws, who set atop the Mink League South Division, a potential Mink League Championship preview. And speaking of Mink League Championships, the Mink League Wild Card will be played on Monday, July 24th, with the Mink League Divisional game taking place on Tuesday. The Mustangs were the first to clinch a postseason berth. Carroll's loss to Joplin clinched the postseason hopes for the Mustangs and an opportunity to go back to back to back to back championships in the Mink League. If things go as planned, the Mustangs should lock up that first place in the North, meaning they'll be playing the second or third seed from that division to move on. 
If the Mustangs are able to win, then they'll then move on to the Mink League Championship against the South Division winner. It's a best of three series that will wrap up July 29th if needed. And that will wrap up the final episode of Mustangs First Pitch. We appreciate you joining us this morning and throughout the season. Have a good rest of your morning.